Assalamualaikum and good day. Uh, my name is Siti Fatimah binti Haji Ahmad Zabidi. I'm from Center for Mathematical Sciences in Mesjid Bersyar Pahang. Today we are going to learn 2.2.3 different differentiation rule for vector functions. Theorem 2.2.2 Suppose u and v are differentiable vector function and c is scalar f is real value function then there are six rules that we need to follow the first one uh, u plus v if you if we need to differentiate the sum of u and v then we can differentiate u and differentiate v separately then we add those two Rule number two, if we need to differentiate the, the multiple of uh, u, multiple with this scalar c, then we can differentiate u and multiply it by constant c. Next rule, suppose that uh, we have to differentiate the multiple of some function and this vector function then we can differentiate function f then multiply it by u vector u add to function f multiply by the derivative of function vector function u rule number four if we need to differentiate the dot product of u and v we can differentiate vector u and dot it with vector v plus vector u dot with the derivative of vector v rule number five if we have the cross product of u and v you need to differentiate we can differentiate vector u cross with, with vector v add to vector v cross with the derivative of vector v the last rule here rule 6 now u this function is composite function u is a function in terms of function f f is a function in terms of function in terms of t so we can use chain rule here basically we need to differentiate u with respect to function multiply it by derivative of that function with respect to t in the example 2.2.3.1 we are given two vector functions vector u and vector v Notice that we need to differentiate vector u and vector v. Vector u has e to the power of 3t here and vector v has cos of 2t here. So we need to recall back the formula of e to the power of a t. If you differentiate this, you get a times by e to the power of 3t. Now you have cos of a t, if you need to differentiate, you get minus a sin a t. So let's look at the first one. We need to differentiate the derivative of function u and vector v, sum of that, and then to differentiate. So what we can do is, add those two and then differentiate that's one way if we want to use the formula then we need to use that formula if we need to use that formula we need to differentiate u and differentiate t separately so if u is given as function u is given as t you can write it in this way e to the power of 3t then the derivative of u with respect to t 
will be you differentiate t you get 1 you differentiate e to the power of 3 t using this formula you substitute 3 for e so you get 3 e 3 t so in the module there is a typing error here so please correct that okay and now we differentiate v v is equivalent to vector v with respect to t is 2 cos of 2t so if we need to differentiate the vector v with respect to t so u if we differentiate 2 you get 0 if we differentiate cos 2t you use this formula cos 2t if we differentiate cos 2t you will get minus 2 sine of 2t okay you get this so when you add up you add up you get 1 because 1 plus 0 will give you 1 and 3 e3t add 2 minus 2, 2 sine 2t will give you this value here. So I hope you understand how to use this formula. Hopefully, if you come across e to the power of a t, you reshape, you will multiply a e to the power of a t. If you have cos, some constant, you differentiate with respect to t, you should get minus. Don't forget that minus. Multiply by the a and sine a t. In the next example, we want to find the derivative of function f here multiplied by vector u. Function f here f t is given as 3t. So derivative of f t is equivalent to 3. Okay. Then we want to find the derivative of function f multiplied by the vector v here, vector u here. So you find the derivative of function f which is 3 and multiply by vector u which is this one okay plus vector f which is 3t multiply by derivative of vector u so derivative of vector u is just 1 3 e to the power of 3 so you just multiply this this one here by 3 to get 3t 3 e to the power of 3t and for this one you multiply by 3t to get 3t here and 9t e to the power of 3t so you add this vector here and this vector here to get that vector here 3t plus 3t give you 6t then you add 3 e to the power of 3t here and this 9t e to the power of 3t so that's the answer for the second problem now let's look at the third problem here the problem here is you want to find the derivative of the dot product of u and v so use the formula you find the derivative of u just now so derivative of u is just this one okay then you multiply by vector v vector v is this one add to vector u vector u is just this one vector u dot is with derivative of vector v so derivative of vector v is just this one so the dot product for the dot product of these two here you get 1 times by 1 1 times by 2 to give you 2 plus add to 3 e to the power 3t multiply by cos 2t so that will be 
the dot product of derivative of u and v vector v you add to okay the dot product of this t times by 0 give you 0 this one multiply by this will give you minus 2e of 3t sine 2t so this is the dot product of ut and derivative of v Now suppose you forget the rules, don't worry because there is also an alternative way of doing those three problems. Okay, but remember when you use this this method, alternative method, you must perform the operation in the big bracket first. Then on you differentiate. You perform the one in the big bracket and then differentiate. You do, you, oper, you do the operation in the big bracket and then you differentiate, okay? But sometimes you need to remember the um, product rule. Product rule, you differentiate, remember you differentiate u times by v. You will get u dv dt plus v du dt or you can write it as v du dt plus u dv dt okay so that's the product rule that you need to remember so here in the first problem you perform the operation of addition so you add u and v so you know u is this one and v is this one so for vector i you add t and 2 to get 2t for vector j you add 3 e to of 3t and cos of 2t so you get this then you differentiate you differentiate term by term for vector i, you differentiate, you get 1. So this is 1 here, for vector i. And this one, you differentiate e of 3t to get 3 e of 3t. And you differentiate cos of 2t to get minus 2 times by sine 2t. So very simple, right? In the second problem, you need to multiply ut with 3t. Function is 3t. You multiply it by, you multiply with this ut. So 3t, you multiply by ut. You will get 3e t of 2 vector i. And you get 3t, you get 3t e of 3t. So you get 3t, e to of 3t. So when you differentiate, you differentiate with the i to get 6t. Now if you differentiate this one, notice that this is product of 3t and e to power of 3t. So you, you have to use product rule. So for product rule, you differentiate u, u to get 3, differentiate v, you get 3 e to of 3t. So here you multiply u and dv to get this. So this is u dv, dv dt. And then you add to v, v, du dt. So you multiply 3 and e to the power of 3t to get this one. So that's how you use dot product for this one. Number 3, you need to do perform the one in bracket. That means you need to do this dot product here. For vector u and vector dot with that vector v. Vector u and vector v. Dot product. Remember dot product. The first element you multiply to get 
to T. You add to the second element e power of 3t times by cos of 2t. So that's how you get this one and this one. Okay. Now you differentiate the one in the big bracket 2t. You differentiate, you get 2. And then this one e to the power of 3t multiplied by cos 2t. To, to differentiate, you have to use product rule again. So the function u is e to the power of 3t and v is cos 2t. If you differentiate u, you get 3 e to the power of 3t. Differentiate v, you get negative 2 sin t. So that's so then when you differentiate u you differentiate u times by v just now here this u and this v here you differentiate you get you multiply u dv and then you get this one u dv plus v du you get this one so that's how you use product rule Look at tutorial 2, page 161 in your module. I would like you to do two problems, number 6, 7, 8, and 9. You can use the formula if you like, or you can use the alternative method, whichever easy for you.